Today we will be discussing auxetic materials, but first let's talk about a regular material. When a normal material is under axial tension, it usually tends to compress in the lateral direction. In contrast, if the material is compressed, it usually tends to expand in the lateral direction. The applied force results in a change in length, which can be characterized by a longitudinal and lateral strain. The ratio of the magnitude of the resulting transverse and axial strains from the axial load is called Poisson's ratio. The shear modulus, denoted by G, of a material governs its plastic deformation while the elastic modulus, denoted by E, governs its elastic deformation. As shown, the shear modulus is inversely proportional to the Poisson's ratio. As a result, Poisson's ratio governs the material's ability to recover elastically following an external stimuli. Auxetic materials are materials which exhibit a negative Poisson's ratio. As a result of their Poisson's ratio, they have an increasingly large shear modulus, which means indenting auxetic materials is increasingly difficult. But what does this mean for the material's response to external forces? As a result of their negative Poisson's ratio, auxetic materials experience lateral expansion under axial tension and lateral contraction under axial compression. This is the opposite of how a normal material responds. Auxetic materials exhibit negative Poisson's ratio as a result of their subunit structure, not as a result of their chemical composition. Common structures include the bow tie motif and chiral honeycomb. These structures can be assembled in 1D, 2D, 3D, or in fibers. Auxetic materials are manufactured using various nanofabrication methods, such as lithography based ceramic manufacturing, direct laser writing, and DNA manipulation. The properties of the structure can be engineered to fit their desired application. Research on auxetic materials is increasing because in theory an auxetic material will never deform plastically. This means that it will never fail and will always undergo reversible deformation. This amazing property would provide lightweight materials with superior energy absorption and dampening. There are many applications for auxetic materials in fields such as biomedical, aerospace, building and construction, smart textiles, and defense. Research is being done for other fields and applications. In the biomedical field, devices such as artificial blood vessels are being tested. During a pulse of blood, the walls of the vessel will increase in thickness rather than decrease, which will greatly reduce the probability of rupture. Medical bandages that react to the swelling of a wound in order to produce a controlled release of an antibacterial agent are another possibility. The unique bending characteristic of auxetic materials, where a convex dome shape is created rather than a saddle shape, could also be useful for practical applications. One way they are being tested for implementation is in the conical frontal area of airplanes. Another airplane application is during cargo drops due to the increased energy absorption properties of auxetics. For use in the building and construction industry, negative Poisson's ratio materials are being implemented as the core material in sandwich panels. These panels are used in applications where high structural rigidity and low weight are required. Shown here is its use in an armored vehicle. Smart textiles made from auxetic fibers can be used to create crash helmets, body armor, and sports clothing with increased dent and fracture resistance as well as an increased energy absorption. To oppose these safety applications, a special bullet with an outer core made from auxetic materials is being researched that could increase bullet speed by decreasing lateral expansion of the bullet due to thrust and centripetal forces in the barrel of the gun. Other possible applications of materials displaying negative Poisson's ratio include fiber seals, press fit fasteners, gaskets, fillers for highway joints, strain sensors, shock and sound absorbers, air filters, and shoes.